So last week I posted a poll on our channel, and this poll asked which iteration of Star Citizen did you pledge for and why? Two options were the PU and Squadron 42. Unsurprisingly, 90% of the people who voted voted for PU with only 10% going for Squadron 42. This is with over 1,000 votes, which is not bad for a channel this size and for, you know, an obscure community feature that most people don't know exists. But, and again, I'm going to admit this, I probably should have had a third option for both. So if you did want both, you're not counted in this, I apologize. We'll do much better in the future with polls in that respect. But, let's go on to the two we have. Squadron 42 only pulling 10% of that 1,000 in this sample size is not a shock to me. I think that the time of single-player narrative-driven story games, or space games anyway, is kind of long past. When Squadron 42 was originally pitched and the backer program originally started, there really wasn't much out there for it, so we still had the, the, the memories of Wing Commander and Freelancer. But that was a long time ago. It really was. And the people who back that, it's a whole different generation of players. And those times have changed. The, the, the games have changed. The market has changed. And I don't think there's as much a demand for that as people may think there was or currently is. So with Squadron 42, yeah, I mean, you get to see if you care about it. You know, Luke Skywalker on the screen or Agent Scully and uh, the Dwarf from Lord of the Rings, right? Y you could see them and, oh look, they're digitized and it's a story, but, but really, what is Squadron 42 gonna offer that other games currently aren't offering? Is the nostalgia for those older titles really gonna be there? Are players, do players really care anymore about, you know, the likeness of Hollywood actors and their video games in 2023? I mean, look at Boulder's Gate. It's the likeness of those this old made-up characters, and the game is incredibly popular. Granted, it's a different kind of game, single-player, narrative-driven RPG, but the point is, what is the selling point of Squadron 42? What is it about it that I really would care about that other games aren't going to do? And we will get into Starfield later, but again, what is it? we got X3 Foundations. It's kind of there. You know, you've got Stellaris. You've got you know, Star Sector, and I know the perspectives are different with those games, but the point is they're still single-player, narrative, story-driven, RPG-like space games. So if I want that itch scratched, I can get it. So I'm just failing to see what it is that Squadron 42 is doing or going to do that's going to, that warrants this much time, this much development. Are we going to get news about it at CitizenCon? I hope so. Not because I care about it, but just because I want it to be done so that they can work on the PU. And that's what's going to bring us into the PU here, the PU. This is what 90% of the people in this poll, this sample size, voted for. And what they care about is the PU. That's what I care about. All the ships I bought, all the pledges, all the backing I've done is for the PU. Is it really any shock? Players want, they're starving for an MMO space game. Not like Elite Dangerous, not like anything else out there, but that's, you know, and definitely not EVE, but like an EVE light space MMO. Star Citizen PU is the only thing of its kind. It has a monopoly on that. I don't care who you are. I don't care about No Man's Sky, which is, you know, now a much better game, but No Man's Sky or even Elite Dangerous. The Star Citizen PU is a unique monopoly that only CIG holds. And it blows my mind that this is not being capitalized on more. And I know development's happening for it. I know things are going on. I know things are being added. But everything is moving at a glacial pace. Will it be worth it in the end? Only time will tell. I think it will be. But you know, just now we're just now starting to get some work on our bigger ships. We're just now getting some features. This year we did get um, Pez, which brought a lot of challenges. But you're seeing it, right? You're kind of seeing the MMO flesh out. And, and this is what I'm hoping for. And I think this is what a lot of people are hoping for. Me personally, I view the Star Citizen PU as the last chance for PC MMO gaming. That's how I view it. That might be extreme. That might be crazy. And it probably is. But that's how I view it. So, again, anybody shocked here with the PU being 90%, Squadron 42 being only 10? I'm not. But, 
that's going to bring us to the elephant in the room, Starfield. You'll see people on the spectrum constantly proclaiming that this is the end of the project, that Starfield is going to put the nail in the coffin, it's going to kill off Squadron 42 and the PU and stir us this as a whole, and this and this and this and this and this, and you'll see it all the time. I've used Starfield, now, I don't know if I'm going to play it or not, um, I'm sure somebody will gift it to me, but I'm probably not going to buy it myself, so if it's gifted to me, I'll play it, but I'm just not a huge fan of Bethesda games. But looking at Starfield, I don't see it as doom and gloom. I don't see it as the end for Star Citizen as a whole. I see it as a good thing, a net positive. Well, for one, it's going to hopefully light a fire under CIG and say, hey, we got to do something. We got to get this out. We got to start showing people some footage. We got to start doing something. We can't just keep sending these stupid reports out that nobody reads. Does anybody read those, by the way? The Squadron 42 reports? I don't. I, I, don't, I just... I don't look at them. I just look at, oh, look, text, and I just ignore it. You know? No, a new Vanduul animation for defecation added. Who cares? Who cares? But anyway. So, it's going to get them motivated to get something substantial out for Squadron 42. And maybe push them more towards, you know, releasing the product like work on PU. But also, the reason why I look at it as a positive is, it is only a single-player game. It might kindle amongst players who've never played a game of that sort because it's going to attract, you know, your your Skyrim players. You're going to attract your, you know, your casual garden variety single player or RPG players. It's going to attract them and maybe they're going to want like a co-op experience. They're going to want, man, I wish I could play Starfield with my friends. I wish I could play a space game with my friends. And I think they're going to end up in Star Citizen. It's going to awaken something that maybe they don't know they have. And they're going to be pushed to write the Star Citizen, which is a net gain. Now, they're not going to be pushed towards Squadron 42. They might be, but I doubt it. But they're going to be pushed towards what they can play, which is the PU. And that's how I view Starfield, is it's a good thing. It's an overall net positive. Now, another thing, and here's my prediction. You can call me out on this in the future. Starfield's coming with full modding. Now, how long do you think it's going to take for modders who work for free... Okay, to mod in Star Citizen ships in a Starfield. And better yet, how long is it going to take modders to mod in unreleased Star Citizen ships in a Starfield? Do you see what I'm getting at here? It has taken us forever to get ships in Star Citizen. But what about when modders start putting it into Starfield? Is this going to motivate CIG to wake up and move at a bit faster pace? Is it going to really motivate them, or are they going to keep going where they're going? The pessimist in me says it's not going to change a whole lot in that department. The optimist makes me think that maybe it will. So, we'll see on that one. But keep an eye out for that. So, this is a short little video here. Um, I wanted to acknowledge this poll. I wanted to thank everybody for watching it. But, overall, the PU is the future of Star Citizen. It's what Star Citizen is. When I think Star Citizen, I think PU. I don't think it's Squadron 42. I think most people are like that. So, let's just stay patient. Let's see where things take us. Let's wait for CitizenCon. Let's see what 320 brings us. And we'll know more from there.